Guys, look at this shirt, okay? It's a Coot Steph shirt. Do you see this? Hey guys, it's Coot Steph, and welcome back to another story time video. As you could tell by the title, we're talking about my worst experience at Disney parks ever, Disney World ever, okay? What frustrates me already, this is gonna be a very much a ranting video because I just filmed the video, but it deleted the whole thing. I hate technical errors, so we have to redo the whole thing, and it just makes me want to rant more, so here we go. But before we get to the story, um, as you could see by the beginning, this is a Coot Steph shirt. This is not a merch announcement, but comment down below if you want a merch announcement, if you want some merch, because this is so cute, okay? I'm flustered. <laughs> so basically, if you know Violet, I've done a couple collabs with her. Um, she's my friend, obviously in real life, not just YouTube. Ugh. My birthday was a couple weeks ago, depending on when this video is uploaded. She surprised the heck out of me, and she got me a Coot Steph shirt. Like, she bought this shirt, and then she bought this, like, thing. Like, it's some kind of, like, printed thing where she, like, ironed it on or something or sticked it on something weird. Now it's a shirt and I'm tripped up. <laughs> okay. For one, it's my logo and it's like for my YouTube channel. And then two, like this is my drawing and now it's on a shirt. <laughs> Don't even talk to me. <laughs> but comment down below if you think this is awesome. If you want your own Coot Stuff merch, I want to make my own Coot Stuff merch. But I figure if I'm gonna make some for myself, you guys probably want some too. Anyway, on to the actual story, on to the actual rant. Thanks, Violet, by the way. This happened on my just recent Disney vacation. If you saw my vlog, this is, the time has come. We're finally telling the story, so let's get on with it. Basically, it was Friday of my trip. I was there through Sunday to the next Saturday. So this was the Friday, it was towards the end of the trip, and I had a... A wonderful week and this just was the icing on the cake okay how do I start this I don't know but basically we were going to Animal Kingdom this day and as you know in Animal Kingdom Pandora just opened and that is the Avatar area there's two new rides it opened probably two three weeks before I got there it was crazy if you looked at the wait times probably if you still look at the wait times to be honest it ranges from like two to five hours. I've never seen it go under an hour. That's how crazy it is. Me and my dad's plan, my sister and my mom didn't want to go. They'll be brought up later, but they didn't want to go. Well, our plan was to wake up and get there right when it opened and wait in the line and hopefully it'd be shorter, like we'd get there in enough time that it'd be shorter than two hours. We get there 15 minutes before the park officially opens and here's the line. Here's the picture of the line just to get into the Pandora area. This wasn't the line for the Flight of Passage ride that I wanted to go on, okay? Just in a summary, Flight of Passage is the ride that we wanted to go on. It was like the more thriller ride than the other one, which was like just a water boat ride. And so we wanted to go on this because apparently it was awesome. The ride is where you're riding on like a banshee and you just like explore Pandora and like go through the Avatar world. I haven't really seen Avatar in a long time, so I don't really remember much about it. I've seen the movie, okay? Like, and the fact that I haven't even, like, been obsessing over this movie and this happened to me messes me up. So, like I said, that's the line we were waiting in. The park finally opens. They let all the people into the Pandora area, and we finally get in line for the Flight of Passage ride. We were outside of the ride, like, the entrance to the ride. We were outside of it, still waiting for people to get in. So you know the zigzags and the lines? This was that point where the park just opened and people are gradually filling those spaces to then like fill up, you know? So we were in the stage of like just trying to get into the line. We were in a line to get into the line, but we were just in a line to get into a line to get into a line. That's how that went. You could see in my Disney vlog, like, the scenery. Like, it was cool, like, walking through the line because it was very pretty. Like, they made it entertaining during the whole line. And we finally get to a stop. I'd like to say that we were pretty early on in the line. We only had three zigzag lines, basically, to go through. That sounds really short, doesn't it? 
Well, fast pass lines are there too. Fast passes are great. So that was going on while also the huge line was going on. So we would stand, I'm not even lying. I will not lie to you guys. We would stand in one spot for 13 minutes because the fast pass people. We were in this line for two and a half hours and we just got to, we were in like the foresty area and then we went into the lab with the avatar guy and then finally we went into the last zigzag room. I could see in front of me the entrance to the ride. Like I could see people get in line to get onto the ride, like right there, okay? That's how close I was. I just had a zigzag to go through. I knew that it was gonna be a crazy line and I didn't know where I was standing, you know, so I timed it on my phone, like on the timer. And I look at it, and I think it was about 2 hours and 36 minutes, I believe, at this point. Guess what happens? If you've really been into the Pandora area, you've probably seen all the articles about this. The fire alarm goes off. I wait in that line for two and a half hours, and the alarm goes off. At first, I thought someone pulled the fire alarm, but... Apparently, something was triggering it, and they had to evacuate the building. I break down, okay? Oh, there was an exit, like, right next to me. The second we get out of that dang door, I'm crying, okay? I was trying to hold it in, but I was upset because if you've ever been on a Disney World trip or Disneyland trip, and you're there for an entire week, you're gonna have breakdowns, okay? You're tired because... You go from about 9 in the morning to about 11 at night, like that, you go the whole day. It's a very like, um, go, 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 stand in line, ride rides, like do all this stuff all day and doing it all week also, like I was just pooped. I was breaking down, like to be honest. And this day doesn't get much better because actually we did go to human guest services. We did end up getting fast passes but the thing is they were trying to figure out what kept triggering it because it went off this alarm and the evacuations happened twice the day before and it just happened to go off again when i was just about to get on the ride and guess what it hasn't happened since it happened to me there hasn't been an alarm to go off and ruin people's days since it has mine and that's what I'm angry about. The time I happened to be in Animal Kingdom, happened to wake up early, the day I happened to go, it happens to me and I'm like, my life's great. <laughs> we did go to guest services and we did get some fast passes for Expedition Everest because this thing was closed for majority of the day. They were trying to figure out what the heck was triggering the alarm. You know, like why was this happening? Because the thing is, what eats me alive is that it was a false alarm. Like it was an alarm, but nothing came with it. Like it was an accident. I was begging to death that the thing was actually on fire because then it would be worth getting the heck out of there. I knew it wasn't a fire. So I was like trying to like stay in the line. I was like, do I have to go? That's a movie, by the way. Two and a half hours is a movie. I could have seen Wonder Woman in that time, you know? I could have used my time wisely instead of standing in a line boredly on my phone, you know, waiting for a ride that I didn't even go on. And like I said, I got fast passes for Expedition Everest because we didn't know how long this thing was going to be closed, and so we just decided to do that. Hold on, hold on. I forget, I forget. After we ride Expedition Everest the first time, we're like, oh, we need to get my sister and my mom. We only had one car, obviously, so we had to go get them. So we get some fast food. I'm the one bringing it in. And the hotel or whatever that we had had no elevator. So there was only stairs. And there were three levels. And I'm holding my phone and I'm holding the fast food, okay? I take a step onto the stairs. And the second step, I don't make it. I fall forward. I fall up the steps. I saved the food, by the way. I saved the food. I didn't catch my hands and have like the food drop like I still I just kind of rolled on to the stairs and like I said I had my phone in my hand and I look up at my phone and it it cracked it cracked right there on those steps because I didn't put my phone in my pocket the thing is I got this phone a week before the trip it got cracked across the screen and then like 
in the corner, you know? It could have been worse. It could have been completely shattered. It still didn't help my day, and that ruined the day. Like, I ran up those steps, the rest of those steps, I threw the, no, I placed the fast food on the table. Like I said, the fast food ended up fine. I wasn't, though. I just ran into my room and fell on the bed and I broke down. But basically, we ate and then we went back to Animal Kingdom. We used the rest of the Expedition Everest fast passes and we did a couple other rides, but in my opinion, Animal Kingdom is just not my favorite. Like, that's why they put Avatar in there, to be honest. But we were ready to go. Uh, we ended up going to Magic Kingdom for the night because this is our last night at the park because the next day we were leaving. And when we get to Magic Kingdom, I finally bring up my phone like 10 minutes into getting there and I look at the wait times. The Avatar ride is open. And what I'm angry about, okay, <clears throat> is that I, I could have gotten fast passes for that ride. And the thing is... The fast passes are probably crazy because everybody probably got fast passes for the same ride, you know, like everyone was going to be in that line. It probably would have been another like two hours and I understand I didn't want to wait that long plus the time that morning and then it ended up being like four hours of me waiting in a line for a ride. That, that would just be ridiculous. It was stupid. I never rode the ride. And now I have to wait like a couple years until I go next time. Who knows when that is. And then I get to ride it. And I it better be less than two hours or I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay. Yes. So that is my worst day slash worst experience at Disney because I just wasted my time. And like, honestly, if you would have seen me that day, like I would have gone on millions of more ranting and just like I just didn't know if I should go back into the line like when it finally opened if we should go back or like if we shouldn't because I didn't want to have a mental breakdown again if it happened again you know what I mean it was just awful so that was my worst experience at Disney like I said this is more of a rant video than a story time yeah thanks so much for watching be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and like I said comment down below if you want crude stuff merch to be honest also be sure to follow my social medias below like Instagram and Twitter at coot stuff obviously and if you're not already a cootie be sure to subscribe to be a part of the coot clan and I will see you guys in next Friday's video bye Come and watch me.